Hello everyone, my name is John and I'm the science educator for Children's Museum Houston. We are tucked away in our exhibit, How Does It Work, at our science station. And today we are going to make something called a lava lamp. Now lava lamps were invented back in 1963 by Mr. Edward Walker. And they kind of look like this. Um, your parents probably know them a little better than you. <laughs> kind, of, uh, kind of showing their age back to the 70s. But what it is is these blobs of wax or oil that are floating up and down in this little conical lamp. And what's happening is this wax and oil is being heated up at the bottom and it's rising because it's less dense than the water. And basically that oil will cool as it gets to the top and then fall. And so it just kind of does this cycle of warming, rising, cooling, sinking, and it'll just do that for as long as the lamp is on. Now we're gonna be able to make one of these just using a couple at-home materials. So let's get started. To build our at-home lava lamp, you'll need a bottle with about a fourth or a third filled with water. You'll need vegetable oil, enough to fill the remaining part of the bottle. Some food coloring, whatever color you want your lava lamp to be, red, green, blue, yellow. And then our magic ingredient will be Alka-Seltzer, and then we'll be all ready to build our at-home lava lamp. With our bottle filled till about a third or a fourth, you're gonna take the cap off and we're gonna add our food coloring. So whatever color you chose for your lava lamp, I chose red. We're gonna add a bunch of drops and then we'll kind of swirl it around to mix it up. Might add a little more. So it's whatever, whatever color or shade you want. So now we have our red water. Then we're gonna add our vegetable oil. So in this part, be very careful and don't spill it like I just did. <laughs> so as you pour it into the bottle, you'll see that it's gonna kind of mix together. So we're gonna have to give it a little bit of time to separate. And the reason oil and water stay separate is because of the molecules. So water molecules are attracted to water molecules and oil molecules are attracted to oil molecules. So they stay separated. So we're gonna let all these bubbles kind of sink out. And then we're gonna add our Alka-Seltzer. So this is a little tablet that will dissolve. So we're gonna start with about a half of one. We're gonna continue to let these bubbles settle. The longer you wait for it to settle, the better result you'll kind of get. And so when we drop this in, it'll start to dissolve and it's gonna to start to add bubbles in here. So we'll drop this in. It's gonna sink all the way to the bottom into our water where it'll start to dissolve. You're gonna to start to see bubbles rising up. And what those bubbles are is CO2 gas. So that is carbon dioxide rising in the bubbles. It'll get to the top and release the gas and it'll start to sink back down to the bottom. And so this cycle will start over and over and over again until your tablet has completely dissolved. So we'll add a few more in there to really get your lava lamp moving. And so if you want to save your lava lamp, you'll just put your cap back on it and then you'll add another Alka-Seltzer tablet when you are ready to restart your lava lamp. Now it's really going. We can add a bunch to it. Really get the bubbles moving up and down. You can actually hear the fizz of, of the dissolving. Now that's really, you've got a really good cycle going up and down. That gas is moving out. So you have a lot of CO2 coming out of the bottle right now. And so when they're dissolved, you put your cap back on and then your lava lamp is ready to go for the next time you want to turn it on. Thank you all for tuning in today to make our at-home lava lamp. Now, one big thing to remember is you don't want to put your cap back on until the tablets have completely dissolved. You want all of that gas to release before you put the cap on. And then whenever, whenever it's, it's done, you put the cap on, but whenever you want to restart it, it's easy as taking the cap off, drop the tablet back in, 
just make sure you let the gas back out. And so if you guys are following us on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. And again, my name is John, science educator at Children's Museum Houston, and I will see you guys next time.